Well, hello, my friend. Did you know that fat loss starts at the grocery store? Did you know that 85 to 90% of your results is going to come from what you put in your grocery cart? That's why today I'm taking you grocery shopping and I'm going to show you the things that you absolutely want to avoid and the things that you want to start putting more of into your grocery cart. The, the grocery store can be a tricky place. There's some really slick, really fancy marketing and branding in the grocery store. And I'm going to just kind of be your Sherpa through the grocery store and helping you to get your fat loss results and your, your health and fitness goals attained. I'm going to help you get in the best shape of your life. So stick with me and subscribe if you're new to this channel. H-E-B is a big box grocery store. H-E-B is where people go if they want to get shampoo, toothpaste, toilet paper, dishwashing detergent, and groceries. And I like H-E-B. H-E-B is in Texas. It's a Texas grocery store. But don't worry if you don't have H-E-B. A comparable store in your area would be something like a Jewel Osco. Or if you're in the West Coast, it'd be Ralph's. Or if you're in the Southwest, it'd be City Market. I don't know much about the East Coast, but just a regular old grocery store. Okay, so my first stop, there's a juice aisle. There's a juice aisle when you first go into most grocery stores, or at least the HEBs out here. And I want to... I want to say I get I get a juice and there's two juices I like. I like the celery juice from Suja Brand and I like the Uber Greens from Suja Brand. And there's a couple other brands on the market that I do like. Green Devotion from the um, I can't remember the name of the company, but anyway, that's about it for juice. We don't want to be fooled by like look at this. Um, this, all these look so healthy, so pretty, so colorful, but they're all just filled with like mango carrot ginger. This mango carrot ginger sounds really healthy. One bottle has 27 grams of sugar. 27 grams of sugar. That's crazy. Um, that's like just basically sitting in front of a bag of sugar and taking the spoon and just eating 27 grams of sugar. So the Suja brand celery juice, and any any of those juices here's how you can tell any of the juices that have less than nine grams per serving and have a really nice nutritional profile this one has all kinds of beautiful nutrients it's rich in vitamin k it's rich in b6 it's rich in potassium it's got a long list of really beautiful nutrients so does the uber greens one and I use that as the base for my smoothies. So when it comes to fruit, fruit isn't bad, but some of us have a little bit lower glucose tolerance than others. So I take the berries and I like raspberries and I like blackberries and I like pretty much any berry. Berries are all on point. I especially love raspberries because their glycemic index is so low, so high fiber, so low in sugar. So I always get some raspberries. I get two and then I freeze one. These pre-bagged kales are awesome. One of the benefits of using this pre-bagged kale is you don't have to stem your kale. And the price differential on fresh kale versus pre-bagged kale is, it's the, same, it's the same thing, but I just like having a nice big bag of kale. That is something I use in smoothies. That's something I use as a base for protein bowls. I use those for kale chips. There's lots of different ways that I, I just love having a nice big bag of kale in my fridge. Now here's something I want you to watch out for. Okay, you got all these beautiful salads, these salad kits. And these salad kits are tricky. When we're talking about price difference, the cost effectiveness of making your own of one of these versus buying a pre-made kit, it's terrible. The price, the price point's awful. But not just the price point. I want to take a look at, I'm just going to grab a random one and I'm going to show you because none of them are great. Um, let's go with the almond cherry salad kit from H-E-B H -E -B brand. So first of all, the bag, it's like all air. It's all air. It's 50% air. So you're buying, you're spending four bucks on point. It's, it's essentially, it's like, oh, one 1.7 it's maybe like a little bit over two two ounces of salad no no it's too much and then also looking at the nutrition content it's got 20 total carbs and 14 grams of sugar because of all those toppings so a lot of these salad kits come with all kinds of junky toppings and yeah 
the packaging looks great, but the problem is you get even this this brand. Um, I love this brand for their Josie's Organics. They've got really great greens. However, when we get this pre-made salad stuff, it's got candied walnuts. You know what candied means? It's got sugar covered all over it. And red wine vinaigrette, that's probably got sugar. And dried cranberries, it's probably got sugar. So the whole thing, the whole thing is 22 grams, uh, grams of carbs, 18 grams of sugar. Your salad shouldn't really have sugar. Ideally, your salad should just be salad. So make your own salads. Stay away from these. Placement of the pretzels. Like, it's right next to the produce aisle. But sometimes they'll do that. Sometimes they'll put snacks like that in dried goods snacks in the produce aisle. Just be careful of those. Just because something's located by the produce does not mean it has anything whatsoever to do with the produce. Another one. Another one. Um, caramel for your apples. No. <laughs> I'm just going to say no. This gets a big giant N-O from Brenda. Okay. Let's not put caramel on our apples. When I go grocery shopping, I get two of everything. I get two heads of cauliflower. If you got a family, get a lot of everything that you need. I get the big bag of carrots. I got some okra and I get two of these because I like to batch cook everything. And that just makes everything a lot easier. So always, you know, buy in bulk and then you cook one you freeze one, and then you meal prep one. That's the law of three, my friend. I really like these little cucumbers. These are adorable, but they're also practical. You can put these in your smoothies. You can freeze these and use them, like I said, in your smoothies. You can use them in salads. I like these because you're not wasting. You know, like if you buy one of these big old guys, I don't really use the whole thing much. So I like the little ones. We've got some wild caught cod. If I'm at a big box grocer like this, I don't really like most of the, most of the other seafood. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And not all big box grocery stores have grass-fed beef, but if you can get one that does sell grass-fed beef, definitely do that. So a really important part of nutrition is intuition. You know, you got to follow your gut. So if red meat just doesn't sit right with your system, you don't feel right eating it, for whatever reason, you know, don't eat it. But if you're feeling like a little bit low energy, especially around your menstrual cycle, and you're feeling like, oh, kind of drained, um, women, we, we kind of tend to not eat much red meat. It's a flavor profile thing. It's definitely not my favorite protein. I don't usually reach for red meat. However, I find that sometimes my body's telling me to eat some red meat. So on those days I do that. So, um, that's what I encourage you to do to investigate your intuitive senses and see what your body's kind of telling you, um, telling you from the inside, really listen to your inner guidance. Your inner guidance will always tell you what's good and not good for your body. When we're talking about inner guidance, you gotta get into being really paying attention when you're grocery shopping. So get your ear, earbuds out so that you can be in the presence of the food. We're, we're a lot of the times we're with our earbuds in and then we've got a bunch of labels staring at us and we can't see past the labeling. But if you get your earbuds out and you're looking at what you're looking at, you're looking at the food really, you're not just looking at the label, then what you get is a really clear sense of what belongs in your cart and what doesn't. <laughs> Speaking of what belongs in your cart and what doesn't, these things, like this packaging just screams at me like poison. It's got Skittles, like rainbow stuff. If you're truly awake and aware, you're not this stuff is not getting into your system. Um, that's the, if you're watching this, you don't need me telling you that. But right above it, let's talk about this. Let's talk about these bars because this is interesting. We've got one brand. I'm guessing these are protein bars. I'm, I've not really taken a look at these. I don't really eat protein bars much because they are most of the time junk. I'm not going to jump to conclusions. I'm going to give, I just picked a random one, blue, blueberry cobbler. I'm going to give this the due diligence of looking at the label. So we have 230 calories. That's a lot. There's not too much sugar. There's 20 grams of protein. Okay. The macros on this are not bad. However, I'm not so much of a macros person. I'm also very much a quality person. And then we get down to the tricky part where I wouldn't touch this with a 10 foot pole. We get sucralose. The sucralose is terrible for your digestive system. Sucralose is another word for Splenda. So Splenda, it's a low calorie sweetener. It's a no calorie sweetener. 
However, it causes all kinds of problems with your digestive system. Sucralose has been shown in lab rats to kill off the good bacteria in your gut. And when we're talking about health, you don't want to kill off the good bacteria in your gut. The good bacteria in your gut helps to modulate your immune system. When you have an inflamed, inflamed digestive system, you have an inflamed overall system, and that leads to an uh, increase in fat gain and a reduced chance of losing body fat. I give them kudos for the branding though. Let's talk about all these protein powders. There's whey, there's, I think this one's brown rice protein and plant-based protein usually means either pea protein or brown rice protein. Let's see. The, the, this is a mix of hemp protein, pea protein, chia protein, pumpkin protein. It, it's a plant-based protein and that's fine. That's fine. However, just know if you're taking a plant-based protein, it's not a complete protein. It's not technically a complete protein. Also, the amino acid profile on plant-based proteins is just kind of underwhelming. Hemp protein is awesome. Hemp protein is great if you're tolerate, tolerant of hemp seeds. Not everybody's tolerant of hemp seeds. And um, hemp seeds can be a little tricky if you're dealing with something like an autoimmune issue. Also, Spore Sigmatic uses adaptogens, which are great for a lot of people, but adaptogens can be immune stimulating. So if you're dealing with autoimmunity, we don't want adaptogens. All these, um, you know, basically rice proteins, they're not the best choice if we're talking about muscle recovery, collagen production, just the overall amino acid profile is just not great. So also when it, when it comes to this, look, protein powders don't help you. It, it's, it's misleading to say protein, protein for weight loss. Yes, protein can increase satiety. And yes, it can help with muscle repair, which does lead to fat loss. But a lot of people just put a bunch of protein powder, you know, in their, in their protein cups and think, oh, this is going to help me lose body fat. Protein powders only help you lose body fat in that they help your muscles to recover. They help you with satiety. And that's about it. The protein powder that's actually worth your dollars is all this stuff that's in, for some reason, a different aisle than the protein powders we just saw. So these are collagen protein powders. I think all of these are collagen-based protein powders. I really, really like the Vital Proteins brand collagen protein. Collagen protein, there's people who argue with this, but there's no arguing to be had. All the studies show, the studies are in, the science is, is here. The bioavailability of collagen protein powder makes it so that your joints can actually absorb that uh, all, all that beautiful nutrients. Great for repair, great for hair, skin, nails, great for your joints, and it's clean. But the only thing that's in here is collagen, so they don't even have an ingredients list. It's just collagen. There's collagen protein in it. Now, I have a little hack for you guys, for those of you who are in Texas, and this may be the case in other places, but um, the HEB and Central Market brand, they actually have a dupe. For this so i get this one at a five dollar cheap cheaper discount for all of you soda lovers out there i want you to try kombucha replace your soda with kombucha for gut health for skin health for brain health it's just one of the best things you can do for your health is replacing soda with basically anything but kombucha if you like a fizzy kind of sweet you know and one of the best kombuchas that i that I've ever drank and that I always go to is the GT brand Trilogy flavor. I never drink a full one of these. A full bottle of this does have a lot of sugar. So I kind of break this into four servings. It says a serving size is one bottle. I think these bottles are four servings. I like to break it up and um, this will last me, you know, maybe two or three days. Amazing brand alert. I'm going to show you a brand that I love and it's the Siete brand. Siete brand tortillas. Ooh, these are so good. So they've got an almond flour and they've got a Kosovo flour. The almond flour is a little bit more rich. It's a little bit more fatty because it's got almonds. The Kosovo one's a little bit more like a wheat tortilla. So um, it's kind of softer, chewier. They're both amazing. And that brand's going to come up quite a bit in some of our future Shop With Me videos. So we're going to stay in the gluten-free freezer section, and I'm going to show you something that I avoid. So just because something says gluten-free doesn't mean it's healthy and doesn't mean it's good for fat loss. When we're talking fat loss, we want to keep our blood sugar stable. That's, that's key in fat loss. 
and some of these gluten-free products are are terrible for that and one of them being Udi's um Udi's brand the Udi's brand gluten-free stuff it's just it's just like white bread. It's going to do the same thing. It's just super processed. All types of just not great stuff. And here's another thing that drives me crazy because these brands put stuff like on the label, it says less than 2%, less than 2% of blah, 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 blah. If any of your food labels said less than 2% of, and then it said cat litter, <laughs> you know, would you eat it? No. So I don't like when companies do that less than 2% thing. It's kind of a disingenuous um, it's kind of a, di a disingenuous way of branding and marketing your food. Another brand that is just hitting it is Base Culture. Base Culture brand, they have a really good bread, but it's not sold here or and or it's out of stock. I can't find it. They usually have it here, but they don't this time. It, it's a really nice bread. It's just grain-free, almond base, really nice, super, super rich, and it's chewy and it tastes just like bread. But they do have these little nutty pumpkin breads. They've got an almond butter brownie. They've got a sweet banana bread. These are all out of stock too. Hold on. The sweet banana bread. So anything from this brand, I really, really like. Okay, these plantain chips are awesome. I like the plain version. The plain version doesn't have any funky stuff. And I love it because look at the ingredients list. Plantains, coconut oil, Himalayan salt. Plantain chips are so yummy, and they're also very rich in something called resistant starch. So if you're taking in a bunch of probiotics, and you're like, why aren't these probiotics working? Sometimes the good bacteria that you're eating, they don't have enough food to survive. So when you're eating something like, when you're having a probiotic, eat something with resistant starch in it. And these plantain chips are a great option. You can have these with guacamole. You can have these on their own. I like these a lot. These are a nice snack. It's not an all the time kind of food, but it is a really great crunchy, salty option. It'll get you by if you're craving some junk food that like, like for instance, um, you know, a classic Ruffles potato chip that's covered in poison. <laughs> this is definitely way preferred. Okay, I don't know what the heck happened. It looked like pandemonium, like everything's empty, but I really wanna show you the Simple Mills brand. Everything from the Simple Mills brand, I love. If you wanna make healthy muffins, for instance. Their muffin mixes, their bread mixes, their pizza dough mixes. Everything this brand does is just a hit to me. And for one muffin, seven grams of sugar, that's not terrible. And the ingredients list is solid. There's no funky stuff. There's no high fructose corn syrup. There's no, there's no junk. So if you're in the mood for something like muffins, make it yourself and make it with something like this. I'm actually gonna grab some of these because I have to have these. These are, these are sesame snacks and they're crunchy and they're salty and so yummy. So this is just kind of a selfish thing. I'm just gonna put those right there. Now we're in the cereal aisle and I'm gonna show you what's good and what's not good in the cereal aisle. I'm really happy to say that these, these companies, these food manufacturers are starting to get hip to the fact that people don't, people don't want to start their day off with something that causes diabetes and heart disease. And that's most of these cereals behind me. These cereals behind me like the Kellogg's and the Cocoa Puffs and all that stuff, they cause disease, they cause cancer, they cause diabetes, they cause heart disease. This is the reason that people get health problems. What I'm happy to show you though, is there's a little tiny section in cereal aisles now that is for things like grain-free granola. So this brand, Wild Way, is great. If you're in the mood for something like a cereal in the morning, I love these grain-free granola options. And they also have a Purely Elizabeth brand. This is another really nice grain-free option. The Purely Elizabeth grain-free anything. They've got a couple different flavors. Sometimes this one, this, this brand, um, this HEB store only has one. But this is a really nice option for replacing your cereal. Brand that's really nice is the Cleverly brand. This grain-free granola when honey met maple. This is pretty good too. And this one only has six grams of sugar. So one of the cereal options that are okay if you're absolutely refusing to give up grains is the Ezekiel brand cereal. Now the Food for Life, it's, it's Food for Life brand, but um, so this is great. They've got almond, they've got golden flax, and they've got cinnamon raisin. Ba basically any of these. If you're not going to give up grains and you, 
and you still have a cereal itch to scratch, get one of those. Those are fine. Okay, we're in the chip aisle and I gotta talk fast because the thing I'm about to show you, people are gonna people are coming for these all the time, and that's the Siete brand tortilla chips. Grain free tortilla chips. I love these. And I love this brand. Again, uh, they're just crushing it. Everything they do is just magic. They've got a really nice dip chip. So the dip chip versus the tortilla chip is exactly what it sounds like. This is a little bit more like a pita chip kind of mouthfeel. And these are a little bit more like a straight up tortilla chip. These are beautiful because the ingredients are, the ingredients are super, super solid. Um, you just can't go wrong with this brand. And super simple ingredient list nothing to complain about everything is just money with this brand so if you want something crunchy salty satisfying snacky there you go the next thing i'm going to show you is a little controversial but i'm going to show you anyway and that's pork rinds pork rinds and if we're talking the chip aisle just the chip aisle pork rinds are free of junky oils pork rinds are minimal ingredients you just have to make sure that they're not fried in something funky. So this one's just pork rinds and salt. Sometimes pork rinds are air baked and that's fine too. Um, sometimes they put flavorings on them. So be careful with that because sometimes those flavorings have like artificial flavoring or, you know, whatever. But if you get just an unflavored pork rind, that's, that's a pretty decent snack option. Okay, my friend, we're in the yogurt aisle and I want to show you, we're going to start off with something called kefir. Kefir is my number one pick for if you're doing dairy if you're able to tolerate dairy kefir is such a good option and i also really like um the coconut yogurts by coco june this is a pretty good coconut yogurt now if you're not eating dairy there's lots of plant-based yogurts on the market that are coming out now but this one doesn't have guar gum in it and that's why i like this brand for some reason they're not carrying the brand that is like the best and that's the gt's brand coconut yogurt if your grocery store has gt brand coconut yogurt scoop that up that's really good also in the slim chance you got coconut cold coconut yogurt get that too because that's also a really great dairy free brand but if we're getting back to dairy based yogurts um wait before we get back to dairy based yogurts let's talk about the so delicious brand because uh, i just don't like anything that they do it's always like, I don't know why they're in business. Why? 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 I want to know why companies like this exist. Why So Delicious would... It's a multi-million dollar company, I'm sure. But they know, they have to know, they have to know that the stuff that they use is not high quality. It's just not. It's just not a great brand. Um, this, this particular one has cane sugar. It has rice starch. And some of their other products, like their ice cream, is filled with gums and thickeners and emulsifiers and all this stuff. So I don't know. I'm just not a fan of that brand, pretty much anything they do. Moving right along, gonna gonna keep, try to keep it positive. One of the yogurts that I do like, if we're talking dairy-based yogurt, the Bulgarian yogurt, or any of these full-fat, unflavored yogurts are a great option. Another yogurt that's really great is the Fage Total 5%. This is just a full fat Greek yogurt. It's unsweetened. It doesn't have any funky stuff in it. And there's no, there's no sugar. There's no artificial flavors. There's no colors or anything else. So that's a really great option. Basically any of these yogurts that are unflavored, full fat, unsweetened, that's, that's the only yogurt that I'd recommend. The rest of them, the rest of them are all just, it's junk food. And like, Talk about branding. This is such a good job for branding. Such a good job for product development. Because this just screams like mid-century mid modern. This screams like leather couches and like, I don't know, lifestyle magazine or something. But then you turn it around and there's just 15 grams of carbs. No surprise there. 12 grams of sugar. It's just so much sugar. It doesn't matter how fancy the packaging is or how clean it looks, flip that sucker over. And if it's got anything, anything besides yogurt as the ingredient, ditch it. We don't need our yogurt having sugar in it. Another example of this is like all of these, all of these Yoplait yogurts, all of them are junk. It's just, come on, they're almost not even trying anymore. They're just like, yeah, Skittles. It's Yoplait with Skittles and Yoplait with Kool-Aid and Yoplait with uh, whatever. It's like they're partnering with 
Skittles. And that's like the perfect partnership, you know? Skittles and Yoplait deserve each other because they're both basically the same thing. And they have been for years. For years, Yoplait has just been doling out diabetes in a cup, basically. Like, excellent source of calcium. Yeah, great. Good. You'll have strong bones, but your metabolism will be broken because you'll be eating 20 grams of sugar in, I don't even know they cram 20 grams of sugar in six ounces. It's ridiculous. Calcium. Sorry, I get a little bit, I get a little bit on my soapbox because it's stuff like this that, you know, this, it's like this. I'm, I'm so looking forward to when people just know, I think people are catching on to like, that this stuff is just not healthy. So if you're at all in doubt, if you're at a gas station or something and it's between Yoplait yogurt or like a bag of beef jerky, always go with a bag of beef jerky or basically anything besides Yoplait yogurt. Sorry, sorry Yoplait, sorry. But to keep it on the positive side, let's see, I like brown cows unflavored, unsweetened. They don't have it in stock here, but I do like it. Um, yeah, they don't have it in stock here, but if you can get your hands on a brown cow unsweetened, unflavored, plain yogurt, that's really good too. They've got a cream top yogurt that's amazing. Quick recommendation, get yourself a full fat organic yogurt and put some of that grain free wild whey on top with a fruit of your choice, some berries, some whatever you want, apples, whatever. And that is how you get like delicious yummy yogurt without having all the junk that these companies put in there. All right, guys, that's it for today's field trip. If you want any more information about fat loss, health, nutrition, and wellness, body, mind, spirit practices, please do join the wait list for my new transformation program. That's called the Total Transformation Program. It's coming this spring and you will not want to miss this. This is mind, body, spirit practices that all combine so that you can live a healthy, harmonious, and imbalanced life. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Bye, guys.